Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you can ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. I scurried the crystal ball for you today, and the image that appeared within the crystal ball for you was, uh, has like double meaning behind it. So <clears throat> the first image that appeared within the crystal ball was two individuals, and these were two males. And they looked like they were more from like the Renaissance type clothing they had on. And one was, uh, had dark hair and one had like white hair and was pulled back in a like a ponytail and they were both like fighting and the interesting thing about it is there was like snow around them and you know not like you know snowing from the sky but like the ground was covered in snow and they were standing on the backs of these like really monstrous looking beasts and they were not any type of animal that we have in this world you know they were very misshapen and it's kind of even hard to explain what they were because I've never seen them before and these two men were you know had each they had like one beast under them each and they were like fighting with swords and then it's like they were arguing and then they were just like kind of like standing there like talking to each other so there's two messages behind this and the way the cards flipped out for you so and uh, there was a lot more cards that came out, but it all wouldn't have fit, you know, on the table. So in a nutshell, it's representing that this could be someone from your past that is possibly a family member or someone that you've known for a very long time. And this could be someone that you have fought with before and they could be trying to pop back up, but know that they have not changed. They're still coming from a very negative energy. So that could represent you guys fighting. Now, it could also mean that if it's not you that's fighting with this individual, I mean, yes, you've had a uh, issue with them, but uh, if it's not you that's appearing in the crystal ball with them, then this could represent two males from your past that could possibly be relatives or friends or people that you have known for a very long time. And the crystal ball could be warning you about these individuals, especially with them standing on these like very, um, n like kind of almost like demonic type beasts. So you're being warned about someone that's trying to, you know, come back into your life. Now, the first card to come out for you today is the seven of swords. So with the seven of swords being here, this is someone that's in a very sneaky, thieving energy. This is someone that thinks they got away with something. And I feel like this is the energy of the person or people within the crystal. Next card out for you is the four of coins. This person is a very greedy person. This person is very selfish. They only think of themselves. They only care about themselves and are very materialistic, shallow as a kitty full type personality. This is someone that wouldn't give to you if you needed help. Next card out for you is the Seven of Wands. You're being told to stand your ground, which is interesting because you got the Devil's Club as well, which symbolizes the same thing of stand your ground. Stand against the Devil and he will flee from you because he is a coward. So you're being told to stay in the Seven of Wands energy against this individual. Next card out for you is the High Priestess. You're being told to rely on your first instinct when it comes when it comes to this person. You know, trust in your first instinct because that is, you know, Jesus communicating to you. That, you know, that is, uh, you know, God giving you that first instinct. So always trust your first instinct. Be in this high priestess energy. And, you know, this person tries to come back from the past and, you know, trying to act like they're, you know, being peaceful. You know, be wary of them because they have not changed. Next card out for you is the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords being here, you know, this is representing you. I feel like you're not going to allow this individual to get a foothold within your life. The Queen of Swords represents uh, truth and clarity and also not putting up with anyone's, you know, um, you know, nonsense. So you're in this Queen of Swords energy and I feel like you're not going to allow this individual to disrupt your life. Next card out for you is the Eight of Cups because you're leaving this person behind. You see them for what they are and you're not allowing them to disrupt your, um, you know, your peace. 
next card out for you was the storyteller connection. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know to pay attention to traditions within your family as far as like stories, you know, things that are rich within your heritage. And for some reason, this could be for a select message for someone out there. Um, possibly remember stories about this individual from like warnings from your bloodline. Because this person could have like a, a particular um, pattern of, uh, you know, doing things to perhaps to even other family members. Now, the next card out for you is the Devil's Club of Reclaim Power. So you're being told to stand against this individual. This person is coming from a demonic energy. And like I said, stand up against the devil and he will flee from you. Now, it's letting you know you need to assert your authority and set up proper boundaries. And not to allow yourself to get wrapped up in the drama or distractions of others. Because this person is just trying to distract you from your divine path. And, you know, it's letting you know to, you know, like I said, stand up against to this individual. Don't allow them to get a foothold within your life. Uh, the Devil's Club has medicinal benefits. It can help with chronic issues such as uh, diabetes and acute illnesses such as, you know, colds. Uh, flus and fevers so it has like i said lots of medicinal benefits that are worth looking into you know even more home remedies that it could uh provide you assistance with even more than what i'm even just listing so like i said it has lots of medicinal benefits that are worth looking into so all in all i do see a positive reading here for you you know you do have the ability to walk away from this individual and not allow them to get a foothold within your life and, you know, just stay on the divine path that Jesus is leading you down and don't allow anyone to sway you off it. So be wary of this person that tries to come back from the past and who, you know, could be trying to give a false smile and pretending that they are, you know, a different person or that they mean you well, because in truth, they do not. All right, Libra, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.